Um, let's turn our attention now the to our coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Presidential Tax Force has received 100,000 doses of COVID shield vaccines donated by Indian governments to Nigeria in order to boost the number of Nigerians to be vaccinated by 50,000 more vaccines. Uh, by 50,000 more vaccines are expected from the African Union Vaccine Acquisition Tax Team. The vaccines were presented by the Indian High Commissioner to Nigeria at the weekly PTF briefing in Abuja and Maria Mohammed reports. The PTF recently reviewed and submitted its three-month extensions of mandate expiration by the president from December 22, 2020 to March 31, 2021. This extension enabled the PTF to pursue twin objectives of epidemic control through transmission and minimize mortality amongst vulnerable and infected citizens. The PTF recorded some achievement during these three months. This include the complete digitization of national disease surveillance system and establishment of new management standards for infectious diseases treatment centers across the country. The PTF, through Federal Ministry of Health and the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, prioritized the initial consignment of vaccines to cover frontline medical personnel, strategic leadership, and those above 50 years of age across the nation. The main objective is to vaccinate 70% of Nigeria's population between 2021 and 2022. The World Health Organization has detected new variants which are associated with the increased wave of infections currently in Germany, France, UK, Brazil and many other countries. There is evidence that the existing vaccines are less effective against those variants. With this, Nigeria has remained vigilant to protect its citizens against the spread of the virus. The PTF transitions into Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19 with effect from 1st April 2021 and its mandate will run until the 31st of December 2021 as recently approved by the President. It urges everyone to remain vigilant, stay safe, observe public health measures, even after receiving first dose of vaccines and take responsibility. The Indian High Commissioner was on hand to present COVID shield vaccines to Nigeria on behalf of his country. He assured of India's commitment to maintaining a long-standing relationship with Nigeria and redeeming President Modi's commitment at Onga, September 2020, that vaccines from India will be used to help humanity. The President has considered the report and has approved the following. One, that the PTF would transition to a presidential steering committee on COVID-19 effective from 1st April 2021 with a modified mandate to reflect the non-emergent status of COVID-19 as a potentially long-term pandemic. Two, that the structure of the presidential steering committee shall reflect the new focus of the response with a targeted approach on vaccine oversight, risk communication, international travel quarantine processes, and sub-national engagement. And three, that the tenure of the Presidential Steering Committee shall last till December 31st, 2021. The Covishield vaccine manufactured at the Serum Institute of India is the first COVID-19 vaccine approved by NAFTAC Nigeria. Its first lot of 3.92 million doses of vaccines under COVAX had reached Nigeria on 2nd March 2021. The bilateral donation of 100,000 doses of Covishield vaccines is in fulfillment of the announcement made by the High Commissioner of India at that time, that India's vaccine production and delivery capacity will be used to help humanity in fighting COVID-19. The PTF encouraged Nigerians to stand against vaccine hesitancy and fake news as this will help curb the spread of the virus. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.